real short, dark people. Yeah, Puro, Puro, Puro Oaxacan. Yeah. Puro Oaxacan Korean. <laughs> Not even like Kevin, little ones. I was like, no, I don't know where these people are from. I was like, I don't know what village they came, how they got here, but. And then they shoes. Yes, this is Koreatown. There's a high population of Oaxacanos here, but every time I come here, I feel I'm at home. Let's ignore my open house sign. <laughs> so. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal. If you're brand new, I'm Crystal. Yo soy Cristal. Yo soy Oaxaqueña y siempre lo digo orgullosamente. So, um, como todos sabemos que recientemente ha habido mucha discriminación con nuestra gente. No, no solamente nuestra gente, pero también los uh, morenos. Yo crecí in the Bay Area más en el norte. So yo 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 sé todo eso la vida de cómo es creciendo con morenos y todo eso. Yo nunca lo di, vi como algo, oh my gosh, ellos son morenos o están feos. Para mí era ya como algo que yo ya estaba acostumbrada porque son en realidad son humanos. No nomás porque son morenos son menos que nosotros. So, uh, escuché el tape donde grabaron a Rudy Martínez hablando horrible de los oaxaqueños, de los morenos. Que los morenos son unos changos, que los oaxaqueños tan chaparros, feos y no sé qué tantas otras cosas dijo. Y lo primero que se me ocurrió fue como, oh, it had my blood boiling. I was like, are you freaking serious I'm like you have you seen yourself like te has visto a ti en el espejo si quieres cooperamos y te compramos uno porque obviamente tú no tienes un espejo en la casa pero paré y I reflected y dije sabes que más que nada me da lástima por la señora like y lo digo con todo, like, sin ser shady, nada. Me da lástima por ella. Me da, oh my God, I feel sorry for her. Like, <laughs> um, I mean, just think about it. Like, piénsalo, una persona tan feliz con sí misma, tan que se ama a sí misma, no tiene tiempo para ir y estar hablando mal de otros. Solamente una persona tan miserable, tan infeliz con sí misma va a estar hablando de otros. Es, that's it, period. En verdad me dio lástima por la señora Rudy Martínez y digo, oh my gosh, lo siento por ella. Like, ojalá encuentre amor, amor propio porque no lo tiene. Um, pero ya, yeah, like, tuve que calmarme y reflexionar reflexionar, deja ver que no tengo lipstick en los dientes ya, yeah, so um, y otra cosa que también me está me está como no sé, pero siempre lo digo aquí en mi YouTube que yo empecé a leer muchos libros y sea tal vez por eso que ahora tengo una mentalidad bastante diferente que la que tenía cuando estaba en middle school y en high school Um, so antes cuando me hacían enojar yo era la primera en hablar like, ah, like como un chihuahua literally un chihuahua me decías algo me mirabas chistoso o yo sentía eso yo como un chihuahua pero ahora es como la gente puede hablar de mí me puede ofender me puede mirar feo y yo lo primero que se me pasa en la mente es Lástima. Pero no, ojalá encuentres paz. Porque. <laughs> I don't know why, pero el primer libro que se me vino en la mente es The Four Agreements. En ese libro, si no lo has leído, um, no sé cómo se dice en español, but The Four Agreements basically talks about don't take anything personal. Um, angry people want to take out their garbage on others. 
um, be impeccable with your words. I'm probably going out of order with these things. But I forgot what was the fourth agreement. But the whole point about this book is it basically talks about angry people want to dump their garbage onto others. So that's exactly how I saw Rudy Martinez. She is so miserable, so unhappy, she wants to go dump her garbage onto others. And that's why I'm saying I felt sorry for the woman. I've personally came across people who, I mean, I made a video about it. My own friend, her mom was like, oh, los Oaxaqueños están chaparos, feos y morenos. And my first reaction was not like, what did you just say? I was literally like, I let her talk. I let her express herself. And I was like, okay, you know, that's how she feels. And afterwards I told her, uh, yo soy Oaxaqueña. And he said, oh my gosh, muchacha, oh my God, oh my God, perdón. And like, she ended up feeling ridiculous, you know, like she ended up feeling stupid. So that's what I'm saying. Like it doesn't angry me. Like when people say these things, what I'm trying to say is reading and working on myself has helped me change my perspective. Now, when people talk about me, when people like whisper behind my back, I'm like, do you feel better about yourself? Like, I hope you do. I'm not saying I'm perfect now, like, oh my God, I'm a saint. I work 100% on myself because every now and then I still do like flip, you know? And that's still something I gotta work on. And sometimes I tell people like, oh, this person said this and that about me. And then they're like, what? And you let her say that? And like, why didn't you say this? Why didn't you say that? And I'm just like, I don't know why, but for some reason, I cannot talk shit. Like, it just doesn't come to me. Sometimes I get angry with myself. I'm like, why did you stand up for yourself? But then I'm just like, you know what? It speaks louder about you than it does about me. And it doesn't, like, I don't know if that's making any sense. But basically, I'm saying I'm not going to bring myself to your level. I'm going to stay high up here. And if you want to go talk about me and you want to be down here I'm never going to bring myself down here with you like you can backstab me you can do whatever you want but I'm not bringing myself to this level like I am good where I am you can go down here but I'm not gonna go there period that's all I wanted to say um, stay hydrated stay blessed let the low quality people talk about you because apparently you're so freaking you're literally like the star in their eyes i mean why else would they be talking about you you know what i mean so that's how i take it as i mean you want to talk about me boo go ahead i'm happy where i'm at obviously i'm still working on myself i'm not a done project i'm a work in progress i still have a lot to improve i'm working on myself every single day you're a work in progress let's go get up yes feel sorry for yourself for maybe that day cry your eyes but next day i need you to feel better i need you to be here with me a hundred percent and that's how i literally roll with my days I got mocosa because literally like <laughs> I have so many of you guys reaching out to me and it's like oh my god now I'm gonna cry oh my god literally it's not a video of me if I if I'm not crying right so I get messages from you guys like oh my god girl how are you like basically you guys say that you guys look up to me but get yourself together <laughs> So it just means a lot when you guys say that to me because I mean trust me I'm not perfect I'm like I said I'm still working on myself every single day I'm working on improving myself and you guys can do it too like pick up a book like trust me I was the dumbest girl ever like if my high school had a yearbook of most to least person to make it in life i was the least person to make it in life this video went from talking about racism to 
loving yourself but yeah i mean that's literally it i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i'm done ranting i gotta go i hope i didn't smear my makeup because i have a whole ass meeting to go to bye fam bye guys i hope you enjoy this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know what you think because i love when you guys give me feedback 